Mama J, what up? Mama Jan. Mama Jan. Mama J. Mama Jan. Mama Jan. I'm on my way to work with Jan Smith. That's Usher's vocal coach. Hey, this is Mama Jan live from Atlantic Station in the ATL. Mama J, tell me what it, what it do. Come on, you know you're better than the best of them. How you teach them how to sing, how to pray, you're doing your damn thing. My God, you a blessed woman. Yes, sir. Hey, I'm Kimberly. I'm Reed. And I'm Neil. We are the, the band Perry. And we are in love with Mama Jan. Best Always. vocal coach on the planet. In the, the world. We love her, babe. We love you, Mama Jan. Atlanta's very own Jan Smith. Come on in. And now. We have some fun today. She's working with us. We're here to celebrate a true treasure to Atlanta, Georgia, you know? I can tell you she is my secret sauce. I have the heart of an artist and, and started there. It was that work and that process that honed me to be able to work with others. That was early on and, and he was probably the first major national artist that kind of threw me on the map. Give me your heart, make it real, or else forget about It's important to me, uh, as I represent good health in the industry and talk to vocalists and, and my clients all the time about being healthy and taking care of their bodies, taking care of their temple. Last year, Jan came on Better Mornings Atlanta and says she could make anyone, even us, sound good. We will hook you up, buddy. So we took her up on the offer, and let's just say our vocal range. I'm a little drunk. It's a quarter after one. Okay, we're we're fixing the suck. Yeah. Someone who's very focused, someone who's dedicated, and dedication speaks in all of her work and the artists that represent her. She's so emotionally invested in all of her clients. She she can really get into what you're doing at an individual level. She has that with Justin, she has that with Usher, she has that with Rob Thomas. You know, it's like everyone you meet, she has a very special connection to. I love making records and I love working with artists in the studio and creating and being a part of that whole process because it's a process that I've been a part of my entire life. So for me, it, it's second nature to really help somebody else do that, but to create with them is even more exciting. Oh, this is Mama Jen. Hi, Mama. This, she's my vocal cords. This is my dad. My pleasure. She's been doing my vocals and she's she's amazing. Well, she said it's cold outside and she hands me a raincoat. She's always worried about things like that. And at the, the pivotal points in their careers, not only to help prep them for some of the biggest performances of their lives, but also perhaps to have a little bit of bearing on them spiritually and morally in the midst of all the things that they had to choose from. She's taught me not only about music, but you know, just to be a good person. And she's, she's such a great person and has a great heart. Whether it's a Justin Bieber and Usher or it's the, you know, the worship choir at the Grove, it, it's about making them raise their bar so they are better at delivering their message. It, it is about relationships. It is about helping and giving and what can you do that helps somebody else and that's what comes back around to shine on you. All right, we've shown people the before and now here's the after. I wonder if I ever cross your mind. Yeah, okay. For me it happens all the time. Uh, One, two, three, team Jan. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Jan Smith, you performed a miracle. I mean, they say behind every good man is an incredible woman, right? Well, I'm a testament that behind every amazing artist, there's Jan Smith. I want my epitaph to read, she came, she made noise, and she left. <laughs> because the Bible says make a joyful noise, and I think I've certainly, uh, I've certainly made some noise. God and help us to all understand the responsibility that goes with what comes after this. And this one